Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. We're going to get time rolling, and as you can see, I have designated a number of things to happen here in this room. We're looking at chucking down an electric tailor's bench, and we're looking at chucking down a stonecutter's table as well. And that is going to be in our dining room, and the reason it's in there for now is because we won't have any of these other spaces built for a while. And we still are dealing with a number of people that uh, really can't support such a large space. But speaking of that, we have a starship janitor named Eva Savord. She calls us nearby. She's being chased by pirates who are called the suicidal murderers, <laughs> who sound like they'll be amazing trade partners for Elliot. But unfortunately, <laughs> she is begging for safety. Um, I think we are going to bring her on board. She's 37. Um, she's a janitor. So it means that she's probably mainly skilled in cleaning and other things. Well, I say skilled, but... Uh, will mainly suit us for cleaning and other things, but we don't know. She could be great at construction as well. I think we are going to offer safety. Okay, so we can see that Eva is running as fast as possible. Let's go see exactly what she is capable of. <laughs> it's fine, but it's just, it's unfortunate because obviously she is the only female here. So, uh, not ideal. She is also incapable of violence or intellectual things which is unfortunate but like i was thinking she is actually good at construction and she is good at growing so that's kind of good and good at crafting so she could be filling in that role there she's also a night owl, a, a night owl however let's hope that she can run fast because if she does have pirates chasing her they are going to have the chance to try and shoot at her while she's running through the forest there so eva i hope you can make it here quickly looks like she's going to go for the raccoon leather parka which is poor quality right now hence why we are also putting down this uh tailor's bench here because it's going to be much better for them okay so i've got this getting mined out by mr seabass as well because we do need another room i was thinking it was going to be for wall but it is in fact for eva who we are going to give a name if she does make it back here safely so i will be ducking out to do that we'll see exactly how she does the raid is here though the suicidal murders have arrived and there's quite a few of them Okay, all right, so, <laughs> assault rifles, yeah, machine guns, and uh, pump shotguns, LMG, yep, okay, okay, all right, so, we need to be ready for this sucker, and we will be. Let's go ahead and get Elliot to come up to this position here. We want to see if they are going to come that way again. We want to punish them for it. We really want to punish them as they're coming through there, so... Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, okay, well, let's get time rolling. Get Elliot to go. And Eva, you are going to be able... Yeah, you're going to be able to make it. Ooh, it's going to be a little tight. Yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be a little dodgy. So essentially, Elliot's going to take the first few shots here, and then he's going to fall back and allow them to start to kind of come through there. Oh, God, Eva, you're really slow going through there. Is that really the fastest path you could take? But you see how slow they are on that corner. Elliot's really going to be able to take advantage of that. Come on, Eva. Come on. I, I really don't think that was the fastest path. I think she probably could have gone around there and she got there faster, but let's hope that they don't start shooting at her. I think they might, though. Which way are they going to go? They are kind of going along the same path. Looks like Zandi has decided to turn around. Looks like Orlean is going to be coming this way. I think we're going to have a shot, Elliot. Oh, come on. Go, Eva. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Um, apparently I don't have a shot at them yet. Okay, looks like Eva is going to be able to get away. Come on. Elliot, as soon as you get a shot, take it. Can we not shoot Fleming? Is that not a thing? Apparently it's not a thing. Elliot, why can't you shoot? Well, Fleming's been hit. Um, this is really weird. I guess, I'm guessing he just doesn't have an angle on them yet. Do you have an angle on Cook? Yes, you do. Okay, nice, good headshot. Oh, nice. Cook is down. Okay. All right, we've got Jay next. All right. Let's see if we can get Jay. Oh, God. He got hit then. Okay. I'm actually surprised he got hit from back there. Okay. All right. Time to run back, my buddy. Because that, uh, that machine gun's going to be doing some work. Okay. We can fall back. We'll get that turret online. We don't need to worry about connecting the other one yet. Oh, a headshot. Nice. Good job, turret. Okay. Elliot got a hit there. Good. Okay. Little concerned about Elliot. 
Oh, nice. Good work. All right, so we got Zandy, who's coming around the corner now. What are we going to be able to do for Zandy? It looks like he's going to be out in the open, so that's good for us. Good hit, Elliot. Okay. Orlean is getting messed up from seeing the other dead. Okay. Unhappy nudity. Do you not have any pants on? I think that might be the case. Yes, you don't have any pants on. Why not? Why, why are you not wearing pants? I thought you came with pants. <laughs> Did you not come with pants? Maybe you didn't come with pants. Maybe that's the case. Okay, oh. She got hit then. That's good. Okay, so the rest of them are still kind of like holding back in there. Oh, God, Elliot, that's not so good. Okay, all right, we need to pull him back. He is getting hurt. Okay, time to run. How is he? Okay. Death in seven hours. Yeah, that's not good. You need to go, man. Friend, come on. Okay, minor break risk. The other one's dropped down. There's not that many of them left, and they are all quite hurt, so... Let's see about turning your room into a medical bed, and we're going to get you to go straight there. Rest until healed. Eva, what are you currently doing? You want to go repair the turret? I don't know if that's the best call right now. How damaged is it? It's not super damaged. Let's see if we can... Yeah, let's keep on going for Zandy. Uh, maybe not. Actually, let's turn around and go for, for Miko. Get some good shots in. Nice! Okay, and that is actually causing them to flee. Uh, looks like Cook is still alive, so that's good. I don't think we're going to take Cook in, but uh, we are going to make use of Cook. Definitely. Yep, we most certainly are. Okay, so I'm going to create another sleeping space in here, just for the time being. Okay. Let's go into our furniture. Sleeping spot. And let's see. Let's get Mr. Seabass. Actually, Eva, you're here right now. Go ahead and capture Cook. Okay. And turret, we are going to turn you off. Boom. Okay. All right. Well, that's a lot of uh, human meat, but it will really upset everyone if we go and uh, butcher them. So I don't think we're going to. Um, you know what, though, Eva? How about you strip Cook first? Because then you can still take his pants. <laughs> okay. Now, how, how is that other stuff compared to what you're wearing? That's pretty poor. That's really bad quality. Okay. Now go capture Cook. Okay. And we will unforbid that. Unfortunately, Eva can't do anything with that right now, but um, yeah. Uh, we've got a lot of weapons, so that's, that's good. I want to make sure that these actually get hauled, so I'm going to put them... Uh, as whole urgently. Just those. I'm not so concerned about the others right now. They're the things that I really do want to be hauled though. Uh, and the others, it probably would be good to have them hauled as well. Just so that we're not seeing them daily. Yeah, let's go. Okay, and Eva is on her way down with Cook. And Cook, we are going to use Spectra, I believe, to do some operations on you. Okay, but we do have to save their life first of all. So, Cook, I want to see if you can go in there. We need to go to prisoner and just allow treatment. Cannot finish off Cook friendly. Hold shift. Mm, I don't want to do that, but I do want you to help me out, my friend. Let's have a look. Spectre, you are our doctor. Have you treated Elliot yet? I don't know if you have or not. Elliot cannot walk. Okay, yeah, that's that's fine. I didn't actually mean to draft them. It's Spectre that I'm wanting to click on. Prototype's feeding. Yeah, Prototype's feeding him first, and then let's go see if we can save Cook. Okay, a muffalo. A psychic wave has, slept over the has swept over the landscape. Your colonists are okay, but it seems many of the muffalo have been driven insane. That's not good. That is not good. Let's go ahead and reconnect that. We might have some meat coming in, but... Um, at the same time, severe illness, Cook. Yeah. We'll see if we can save Cook's life. He's currently bleeding out. That's the issue here. But uh, I do want to make sure that Elliot is taken care of first. Okay. Spectra, what are you doing? You're tending to Elliot. Okay. Um, you know what? I should have been giving him proper treatment as well for these wounds. Right now, he's not actually getting that. We're going to allow him to use proper medication. So he's going to go tend to Elliot, uh, which we actually need to have happen ASAP. Otherwise, we're going to lose him. If we lose Cook... That's okay. We do not want to be losing Elliot now. Okay, alright, here come the Muffalo. 
Okay, and the turrets are gonna do all they can. If that turret blows up, it's gonna take these muffalo with them. Okay, I took one. This one is quite heavily injured. Okay, come on. Go turret, go. All right, good work. One left, I think. Either, I hope you're safe. Be safe. Just hang out in there for now. How are you, how was your doctoring skill? It's not great, no, you're, you're incapable of intellectual. Oh, uh, but your medicine, you're passionate about medicine, but it's not very good. Okay, come on, take it out. I don't want to lose both turrets here. I think we are going to though. No, we're not, we're good, okay. And it looks like he is dead, yeah. Unfortunately, we weren't able to save him, but it would seem that Elliot is going to be saved. It's gonna take him a long time to recover though, so that's not as good for us, unfortunately. Um, we do want to cook out of there though, because that's going to be pretty unpleasant. Let's prioritize holding him. There is so much blood everywhere now. These damn muffalo kicking about. Okay, we want to go ahead and build a copy of that. We want to build it right there. I believe that's where it was. Yeah, that's where it was. Wow, okay, let's go ahead and turn off. I don't think they're gonna get back up. They are They are downed and they're going to stay down. They're gonna be dead in 5.8 hours, dead in 7.7. .7. They aren't gonna heal themselves. And <laughs> Eva's just gonna go play horseshoes with all this going on. So let's have a look at Eva and see exactly what she's gonna be able to do for us. Let's go firefighting, definitely patient one. Doctoring, we don't wanna have on right now even though she's capable of doing it. Uh, let's put bed rest on two for those two as well. Yeah, because it, 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 as long as it's not life-threatening, we should be okay. Apologies. Punch in the microphone. Um, Hall Plus, we do want to have turned on to one. Flicking, we want to have turned on. Warden, no. Handling, no. Hunting, no. Construction, 100% yes. So let's put that on two, actually. Let's do this proper. Uh, growing, we're going to have on two also. Mining, we are going to have on two also. <laughs> Uh, and probably uh, plant cutting as well, because we don't have it on all the time. Uh, but crafting, actually crafting is what we really want her to be doing. So we're going to have craft turned on. Hall clean, okay. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. let's see. Let's see how that works out. Um, I want to get rid of this crafting spot just so she doesn't start just rolling the smoke leaf into joints. Actually, speaking of that, did we sell the smoke leaf or did it all just disappear? Because it was out here, but it was safe. I'm trying to remember if we sold it, or if we have just lost it somehow. Because things don't degrade under cover here, and it was frozen, so... I don't know what happened there. Hmm. Alright, you're gonna go wash on up. That's good. All right, we're going to see how everything's doing back here. Um, we are going to be a little bit um, on the back foot with Elliot being downed for now. Yeah, Mr. Seabass. We're all not in a good place right now. That was quite the raid. We weren't really anticipating it. But that's always the way. Eva is doing a pretty good job at getting things hauled. Looks like it was mostly the weapons and things like that that were getting moved. And that I'm happy to see. Unfortunately, no one else that can really back Elliot up in fights, which is uh, a little sucky. That's okay. Um, right, how do we want to do this bedroom? I think we want to kind of just do it like this. And uh, go ahead, get a copy of that. Get that up against the wall. Go get a torch as well. And we'll probably go for a table and chair combo. Like so. There we go. In the corner. Nice. Uh, do we want to get some plant pots put in? I reckon, I reckon so. Good plant pot never hurt anyone. And you've got the dresser, Mr. Seabed, so... Seabed? Sea bass. Sea bass, not seabed. Okay, interesting. An escape pod. Windy. Okay, Windy. You're a Luddite, so you don't like technology. Slowpoke, iron willed. Incapable of crafting an intellectual. Wendy, I'm sorry, but I think. 
Yeah, I'm sorry, Wendy. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wendy. I really am. I'm truly sorry. Uh, Eva, you're actually a little bit close to breaking. I guess it's because you've been dealing with so many dead people. This is why it would be great to have Elliot doing that right now. Um, where is she? Oh, wow. Someone else died on the way out. Jay, the engineer, died. Okay. Nice. You got your Jade Shiv. And some of the others just kind of limped away. I'd be surprised if there's some others around here that I've uh, kind of missed. Okay, yeah, but where is Wendy? I've lost her now. I've lost her in the woods. Okay, she's up there. Okay, let's see. We do need to chuck down a bed, though, for her to uh, to be in. So it's going to be in Wool in Wool's room, and it's just going to be this little sleeping spot, which uh, ain't much, and it's probably not the best thing for operating on, but uh, it's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead, grab Wendy. Um, oh, she's okay. Oh, she's just going to walk away. Yeah, we can't rescue her. Where are you going, Wendy? Are you just going to... You're just going to leave, right? Okay. Well, I, don't, I guess we don't want to straight up attack her because she's a space refugee. I don't know. She could be... Yeah. But you don't want to piss off any other factions right now. We'll let her go. We'll let her go about her business. Looks like you're going to get the Taylor's Bench built, Eva. Nice. And Mr. Seabass, you are getting on cooking. Fantastic, because we need to. Ah, oh, great. We're out of fuel again. Did we go through all of our wood? We have, haven't we? We go through... No, we've got lots of wood. Okay, well, let's... Uh, I love what you're doing there, Eva, but let's get that refueled. So that Mr. Seabass can uh, get his cook on. Because we need some meals ASAP. Yeah, you're just going to eat raw meat, aren't you? Oh, damn. Okay, Mr. Seabass, get to cooking. Thank you very much, good sir. Okay. And we're feeding some raw meat to wall. Poor dude. Poor dude. How is Elliot doing? Does he need another treatment? No, he's okay for a while. Yeah. He's healing. He's, he's getting there. Severe illness, Elliot. No. Oh, because the blood loss is extreme. Okay, right. But he is on the mend. He did lose a lot of blood. Um, but he defended his, uh, defended his colony, defended, uh, his peeps here. Uh, where the hell did those other muffalo go? Did we, oh, that's where they went. Ah, I see. <laughs> I was like, uh, remember them being there. And I actually think that you were here, weren't you? Yeah, so let's go ahead and cancel that then. We shall cancel it. And because it blew up, we got nothing back from it, which is unfortunate. Yeah, and this is going to be Eva's room. Okay, all right, so we, we are going to need some torches to help keep you warm as well. And now that we are so low on wood, we're going to have to go ahead and designate some of these to be chopped down. So it shall be done. How are those meals going, Seabass? Well, we're going through them quick because I can't see any there. Because we're just uh, eating them right away. So that definitely needs to be a priority at the moment, getting that up and running. Okay, everyone's getting pretty close to breaking. I'm not surprised. Oh, it's you. It's you doing the building in here. Oh, you're getting the floor done. Okay, I don't know if the floor's a priority, but uh, thanks, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more wood then, that means. So that means that Spectra is probably going to be pretty busy chopping down these trees. I am guessing. Mr. Seabass... I love that you're doing that, but we also need that done. Sorry, buddy. I know they need to rest. They need uh, joy, but we also need to just push on for a little bit longer. Yeah, I know. Elliot needs more than just warm clothes right now. He's he's fine in here. He's perfectly warm, but uh, he was very close to death. And luckily, it looks like he's going to come out of this without uh, any kind of like, yeah, major issues. So I'm very, very happy to see that. No infections as well, which is pretty amazing. We've got his bedpan that does need to be hauled. We need to get that out of there. Harvesting pine tree. Thank you. Good work. Okay, who's got hypothermia? Mr. Seabass. Okay, damn, really? It's that cold in there? I guess it is. Um, do you want to maybe work on those? Yeah, we need 20, don't we? Crap. How much is there? 18. Prioritize working on that. And are we going to rescue Mr. Seabass? Is, or is he going to be... Yeah, so you are just wearing that, aren't you? I thought that uh, he had a jacket on, but uh, he has for some reason decided that he just wants to wear 
You know what? Even wearing that is going to be better. Hypothermia serious. Yeah. We don't want that. Anyway, we can prioritize working on that torch. Sorry to wake you up, but we needed to get warmer in here because Mr. Seabass is uh, not feeling so hot. Uh, is it going to rise? I want you to be okay, my friend. Uh, I guess we could try and just rush you to your bed. That would mean waking up, you know, either. Rescue Mr. Seabass. You're going to bring him into Elliot's room. That's okay. It's warm in there, at least. Oh, <laughs> he's fine now. He's decided he's fine. He just wanted to be carried to bed. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. We all want that every now and then. Oh, dear. Okay, well, so we've got some meals. It's cold. We are on the recovery from, well, a, a sizable raid or two. Yes, and there's still much work to be done. We need a lot more wood than uh, I initially thought we were going to need. That tailor's bench ain't going to be working for a while. So I will just let them continue. Continue to do their work for now. Elliot is fully healed. That is fantastic news. That's really, really good. So let's go ahead and just turn this back to his bed. Otherwise he'll get really concerned. There you go. It's all yours. And as soon as that bed gets built, either you can have that. It's still bloody cold, isn't it? Yeah. I guess that's a smaller space, so Wall's able to stay warm there. Let's go ahead and get rid of that bed, just so he doesn't get confused. And is that on the cleaning area? Let's have a look. Go expand that. It is, so it should be getting cleaned. Okay. Good to know. Alright. You're gonna go you're gonna go feed him. Okay, let's uh, let's see what the relationship is like now. 45! Elliot's actually built up a pretty good rapport here. Let's see. What what are the percentage chance here? Okay. Rejected the offer? No. Oh, this is building up rapport. Okay. I'm trying to see what the different symbol is for the recruitment pitch. Because I think that's just rapport, rapport. Oh, yeah, here we go. 0.5% uh, chance. Oh. Why is it dropped so low? Even though his opinion is so high. Well, I say it's high, but... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty high. I guess, I'm guessing he's just in a pretty... Yeah, he's in a really foul mood. Not surprised. Not surprised. Well, well, we might have to um, sacrifice you. I don't want to, though, because his skills are great. That crafting. I want that crafting. I need it. Yeah, we're going to be using this wood most of all for uh, the floor. But Spectra is pretty quick. I just need to remember to, you know, quite often keep on setting more trees to be chopped down. Which means that we're going to be moving further and further out. It does mean there's more open terrain here though, which I kind of like. Visitors. The Northwestern Stolistia. Okay, hi. Welcome. Come say hello. We'll see if we have anything to trade with you. If they are just visiting, we might not have something to trade. Yeah, 0 0.5. Crap, that's gone down to nothing. Uh, I think it's going to take a lot to improve his mood. Yeah, Eva's going to be fine. She's eating now. Uh, but we do need... Yeah, Mr. Seabass, if you could focus on cooking again for us, that would be fantastic. Prioritize cooking. Do it. Cook for as long as you possibly can. That would be fantastic. Elliot, you keep on working on that floor and everything else. Eva, what can we do to help you out? Want out apparel, slept in the cold, disturbed sleep, awful bedroom, night owl in daytime. Okay, well we can change that. That's easy enough for us to change. Uh, we don't actually have any kind of real working hours set out just yet, and that's something that we might need to look at. I usually like leaving it unrestricted though for the most part, but we will just sleep, we'll change her sleeping hours around. So how much do we give her? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we give her eight hours, so. Yeah. Actually, let's go that way. Yeah. That should work out a little bit better for her. That's the hope, at the least. But it's going to take a little while for her uh, 
I guess, clock to kind of reset to get used to that again. But she'll get there. She'll get there. Feeding a, sim feeding a simple meal to Wall. Good. Yeah, we've got enough meat for now, which is good. We just need to actually just buckle down and keep on making those meals. We're kind of working pretty much hand to mouth at the moment. We're still very early on, and this is when things are obviously, well, not the best. Elliot's pretty a pretty good talker, so I might see if I can get him to, um, well, there isn't anyone that really wants to chat, is there? They're all, they're just, they're just visiting. They literally are just vis visiting. Unless Joe wants to talk, no. No. No one wants to talk, okay, all right. Yeah, we got our little, uh, <laughs> our little murder valley sitting over there. Oh, well, I don't know if we're going to be able to recruit you or not. I would like to. I would very much like to, but, um, yeah, maybe I do need to be more selective. Maybe now is the time where we could be harvesting. You know what? Yeah, because he, he's, he's requiring food right now, and we don't have a lot of food. And while this is great, this is all good stuff. Yeah. It's tough, it's tough to pass up, certainly, especially having that crafting so high. And he's still relatively young as well. His breaking point is really low. Oh, it's tough. You know, I'm going to give it a day or two. I don't know, I'm a sucker. I'll give him a day or two. Let him decide. Yeah, we can't talk to any of them. They usually have an exclamation mark anyway. So I think they literally are just visiting. That is okay. We will take that for now. Um, that kind of needs to get hauled as quickly as possible. Get that out of there because that's uh, obviously not the nicest environment. We are getting our floor down in here. Slowly but surely we are getting the place built out. But it is such a big place that it does take a while. That's why I've only kind of asked just this table to be built. I haven't built any others or anything like that because... Uh, it is still early on. Um, I am going to chuck down a pillar, though, where I wanted one to be before. So we're going to go make a wood wall pillar just there. Once that's in, we can remove this uh, final piece of steel that's just kicking about in there. Um, I have just laid those out for now. We don't have any slate blocks, so we're not likely to use them. Thank you, Mr. Seabass. Oh, I thought you'd hauled that away, but apparently you didn't. Oh, well. What can you do? What's the temperature like in there? Oh, it's a little bit better. Unfortunately for Eva, it, yeah. Yeah, you, you're getting woken up as uh, Mr. Seabass is cooking away, making as many meals as he can. Okay, we, well, we got to our tin, so that's good. See you later. They didn't get killed while they were here, so that's better than nothing, I suppose. All right. What are you going to be able to do for us today, Elias? We are getting close towards the end of the episode, though, so I'm hoping we're going to be able to get a little bit more work done on this. Mr. Seabass has decided to call it a day now. Their sleeping schedule definitely seems to be out of whack. I think it's because I just had him working for as long as he possibly could, uh, making as many meals as he could, but we can see how quickly we go through those first thing in the morning. Everyone's quite hungry. They'll have lots to eat. Spectra is getting more of this chopped down, so we have a decent amount of wood up here, but we need a lot to be able to get everything built here, but it looks like these two are kind of teaming up to try and get that done. Nice. It's slowly coming together. How much wood are they able to haul each time? 75, right? Well, 72. Close to. Close to the max amount. And that means they should be able to get a decent amount of it actually placed down. Oh, yeah. Not bad. All right, either. Arctic Wolf Revenge. Oh, okay. They attack the wolf. Nice. It looks like Nina actually got pretty hurt in that. All right, well, uh, thanks. I hope it doesn't get back up. I don't think it will. It's quite far away, right on the edge of the map. So really nothing to do with us, but thanks, I guess. Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> yep, go on, get out of there, Eva. I think I might need to... Actually, you know what? I will let Elliot do that. I was going to say... Um, did you just grab one steel? Like one thing of steel? No, you did grab more, didn't you? Maybe you did just grab one piece of steel, which is crazy. I don't know why you'd do that. No, it must have been 75, surely. 
I hope so at least, because that would just be weird. We can see. Yeah, he, he grabbed one piece of steel. Why would you do that? Why would you not grab the whole amount? That's just weird. Um, we do need him to get these lights built in here because um, that's going to help with them working in there quite a bit as well. So as soon as this is done, I'm going to try and see if I can get him to prioritize doing that. Yeah, we're we literally hand to mouth right now. All right. Any luck with wool? We'll see if it's get if it's still 0.5% success chance. We're just going to call it. Uh, what was that? A 1% chance. No. Even though our, like, even though we've got so much better, like the rapport is good, for some reason his rejection's gone so much higher. And I think, I think it is in part because of his mood more than anything. Oh, yes, you don't actually have any... <laughs> yeah. There's no bathroom in there as well. Okay, so I think we are going to do... We are going to do this. I'm sorry, Wall. Let's jump in. Operations. Let's see. What do we want to start with? Now, I've been told the kind of... The, the way that we can do this, although... The only issue with this is that we are going to use a lot of medicine to be able to do this. So I wonder if we just go for something that's, you know, uh, we can get a little bit more from. So I think if we just go for a kidney, go for a lung, and then go for a heart. Because the heart will finish it. Yeah. So we need to go into overview. Uh, overview? <laughs> no, we need to allow them to use medicine. So he's jumped into bed. So someone will come and do their operation soon. Either Spectra or Elias. We will see. Looks like Elias just getting that lot done first. Um, okay, what about Spectre? What's Spectre doing? You're hauling him to the zone. Okay. Well, you can't prioritize it at all. So I think it's probably Spectre. Prioritize operating on wall. We'll let him finish his uh, little bit of work here. And it's going to take him a little while to get through there. Thank you very much for hauling him. Oh, you're going to eat amongst the dead? That's not super nice. Well, you're tired. What perfect time to do an operation. I'm going to do this to finish things up for today. See if he can successfully do this or not, Spectra. All eyes are on you, my friend. And success. We successfully removed the kidney. Fantastic. Okay, so let's see. I'm guessing we need another one to be able to remove that. Yes, I'm assuming so. Here we go. Success! My friend, Spectra, you're doing a fantastic job here. And finally, this is going to be the heart. So this is going to finish things off if we get it. But in saying that, these are things that we're going to be able to get a lot of uh, money for. We will see if this uh, negatively affects them, because he is obviously going to die from this. Uh, but we successfully removed the heart, so... Oh, I should have stripped him first. I'm an idiot. That was a big mistake on my behalf. I should have been able to figure that out. And uh, if you could quickly haul him, that would be fantastic. Now, I don't know if these need to be chilled or not. Because we have been storing them in the freezer, but I don't know whether or not they need to. I've got the mark down for hauling, so I'll keep an eye on them. But we have some more parts to sell, but we need the right people to sell them too. We are surviving. We're certainly not thriving. We're not at that point at all yet. Not even close to that. But uh, we, we're we close to having this area up and running. And I think once we get that running, everyone's going to be in a little bit of a better mood. Because... We're going to be able to start getting some of these walls up. We're going to be able to move most of our production inside here and uh, keep people from the outside because, uh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Seabass, you have nothing you can do right now? You can't be making foods? Well, actually, you know, yeah, you, you're you're all done there. Um, I'm in two minds about this, about the slate wall, about if we go any further down that way. I don't think we want to yet. Um, yeah, I don't think we do. I might want to start expanding out this way, though. I might want to allow him to do that, at the very least, because uh, then he's going to be able to to work into this area 
get the prison done and everything else. So that'll give him something to do at the very least. And he does love mining, so you do, right? Yeah, you do. You like cooking more, though. You're actually a really good cook, Seabass. So we're going to keep you cooking, that's for sure. But uh, for now, yeah, we'll have you doing that. You can't haul for us, can you? No, you can't. That's okay. We like you all the same, Seabass. We managed to survive a decent amount this turn, and we actually had someone else join us. We had Eva join us, and Eva will have a name in the next episode. I'll be sure to give her one. Out of our fantastic list, if you haven't added your name into it now, the, the list is getting longer, but the chance for you to actually get in is still there. I've gone with a random chance on it, so if you haven't yet and you'd like to see your name in there, the link will be in the description. It's just a Google form. It's really nice and easy to fill out, and it's an easy way for me to keep track of all the different names that are added to this series. Elliot is alive and well after a very, very close call. He got out of it without any scars, but that's kind of how Elliot in Cataclysm worked. And you know what? Let's just let him do a little bit of work here. We'll just fast forward through this as he gets a little bit more of this done. And you can kind of get an idea of what I'm going for with uh, our little, you know, space that we have here. I think it's going to look pretty nice. Yeah. It's certainly not fancy. This, uh, when well, I mean, we were certainly not running the Silk Road well yet. But uh, we're getting there. We'll see how the next one goes. Thank you all for joining me for this one. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.